Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's weigh-in video on this chilly fall morning. Even though it's not quite fall yet. It's September, but it's not quite fall yet. But guess what? In my usual what happens to me in the fall, normally I'm in, I'm in Florida right now, but not now. Now I'm in St. Louis and I am feeling it. This reminds me why I'm not here in the fall. My eyes are watering, I'm congested, I feel like something's sitting on my chest. Let me take a sip of this hot coffee. So technically I am on day 12 of not feeling well. I don't know what the heck's going on. Day before yesterday, I took a, I went up to CVS and I took a flu A, flu B, and COVID test, all negative. So I don't know if I had one of those and I waited too long or if I'm just not testing positive or if this is a long running cold or if it's allergies, but I take medication for allergies. I don't know, but you know, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that when I was not in Florida in the fall, I used to always say that I always chronically had a cough drop in my mouth. I always had hot tea going because I always get this. And I guess because I've been in Florida during the fall for the past, I mean, I can't even remember so many years I've been in Florida in the fall and I don't get this, but now I have this. And this is why I love fall. I love the whole fall vibe. I like the decor. I'm not a big Halloween decor kind of person because I don't like horror anything. I just don't like all that. But I do love the fall. I love the leaves and I love the color change and I love the fireplace and the hot cocoa and all of those things, that whole vibe. But I don't like the fact that I cannot breathe. So I think when I finish this video, I'm going to do what I probably should have done a long time ago and go see an allergist again about this. Because anytime I've been to an allergist, it's because of my fish allergy and I've been trying to discover if there was anything I could eat from the water, which by the way, there is not. But we never got like real in deep, in depth testing why this happens in the fall. So I think I'll do that today while I'm feeling it. All right, so let's talk about the weigh in and let's start this weigh in Wednesday the way that I like to, which is with a blood sugar test. Now, full transparency, yesterday was bad. I did not eat well yesterday. I haven't had brownies for, I don't know the last time. I don't even know the last time that I had brownies. Yesterday, I had a huge chunk of brownies and it definitely affected my blood sugar. I knew it was going to happen. I'm just going to use a sticky one. I knew it was going to happen and it did. So I haven't eaten yet this morning, but I've been drinking black coffee. So let's see. When I went to bed last night, my blood sugar was 154, which is way too high, um, especially having been like two or three hours since I had the brownies. So let's see if it's down yet. Yeah, 105. We're still not under 100, but I'm, I'm okay with 105. I really would like to see it under 100, but at least it's down. I would not have been happy if it was way up this morning. But you know, every now and again, life happens and you eat off course. I know that I don't do it often. That's the good thing is I can tell you absolutely positively for sure I don't do it often. And I've been maintaining my weight. The maintenance number that I maintain, that I like to maintain, is between 140 and 145. So I am still, as of today, way in Wednesday, I am still in my maintenance window. So today I'm at 144 on the nose, which is down just like a little tiny hair from what I was last week, but it doesn't matter. To me, that five pound movement, I'm totally fine. That allows me to live a little bit. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is whether or not I should reduce down my carbs a little bit more. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. 
I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to drop them just a little bit lower. So if you're familiar with what I do, I do track Weight Watchers diabetic points. I mainly do that to create a little extra boundary around my main plan, which is just eating low carb. And exactly how many carbs I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, that is always down in the description box. You can follow it along with me. It is totally easy. It is totally free. If you want to do low carb with me, it does work, especially if you're somebody who is kind of having that problem where you get a little bit thicker around the middle. That's me, especially as I've moved through perimenopause. It has definitely happened to me where my weight redistributed into my gut and I feel it and it's uncomfortable. So low carb has helped a lot with that. And I mention this pretty often when I do these videos. If you don't know if you're pre-diabetic, just get checked. This is great to know how you're responding to foods, things like that, if you're not wearing a CGM on your arm. This at least, if you so if you have something like brownies and then you test your blood sugar an hour later, test it again an hour after that. For me, I actually have to go to three hours because mine will sit with me for a little while. I don't know exactly what that phenomena is, but I think it means my body is not processing that insulin the way that it should, which is why I'm not supposed to eat those brownies. That's just my body doesn't do that. But I always say this, in the presence of higher blood sugar, I cannot lose weight. So if you're somebody that is now, maybe you used to lose weight on Weight Watchers and you can't anymore and you don't know why and you feel like it's got to be somebody's fault except for your own. Let me just tell you, I get it. I understand. Go to the doctor, tell them you want an A1C, not this, because this will only tell you what it is at that moment. See, I could take the, if the doctor did this right now, 105, they'd say, boom, you're good, no problem. But but there is a problem. I am definitely pre-diabetic. So I could just walk out of that doctor's office without realizing that I am pre-diabetic. So ask for an A1C and see if you're in the pre-diabetic range. And if you are, that very well may be the answer that you were looking for and why you're starting to gain weight in the middle, your weight is reallotting, you're doing everything right, but your body thinks you are eating like you're doing everything wrong, except you know you're not. You're on the roller coaster where you lose two pounds, you gain one pound, you lose one pound, you gain two pounds. Call your doctor right now, ask for an A1C, and I bet you there's a really strong chance you're pre-diabetic, your numbers are reading pre-diabetic, and that's the problem. And all you need to do is change the foods that you're eating. Maybe add in a little extra walk in the day. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. And let me tell you what, I'm committed to this, and I know how bad I feel when I do things like go eat a big chunk of brownies. Was it emotionally satisfying? Yes. Was it delicious at the moment? Yes. Could I have killed that craving with any number of things that would not have spiked my blood sugar? Absolutely, I could have. But you know what? I made a choice not to do it. And all I did was remind myself why I don't do it. Because it isn't worth it. Not just the fact that I'm over calories, I'm way over carbs. Not just that. It's the fact that I feel so bad when I do it. I feel jittery. I feel racy. I get that false energy, which is not really energy. It's just like a sugar rush. And then you have the crash and you feel horrible when you do that to yourself. So this week, I'm planning on having a lot of good protein meals. I like to base my meal around the protein. So I'll kind of choose two or three proteins for the week. This week, I'm thinking I'm going to do a pork tenderloin, a turkey tenderloin, and then I'm kind of in the mood for chicken burgers. That sounds good to me as well. So I'll usually start with two of three. I'll have three things that I've thawed out or that I've put in the refrigerator. I'm sorry, I keep coughing. I keep having to stop the video and restart it. I'm about to do it again because I keep coughing. Anyway, what I was trying to tell you is that I like to have three proteins 
that are available. So maybe I'll do the turkey, pork, and ground chicken. But if I do five chicken burgers and two turkey tenderloin because you get two in one bag, then that's going to be enough for the week for me because I'll be the one that eats that. The whole family won't eat that. Sometimes Kevin will eat the turkey tenderloin, but sometimes he tells me no on that. I have to convince him of that one. But I like to have a third one just in case because if he does eat the turkey, then I'm going to need something additional to get through the week. So I like to base my meals around the protein and then I like to meal prep a couple different vegetables. I love meal prepping my mushy broccoli, my mushy cheesy broccoli, but my daughter, my older daughter Cameron, she will come over and just hit that hard. She loves it. She eats the heck out of it. So does my other daughter Paige. Her boyfriend loves it as well. So I've got to get some broccoli this week for sure, even though I bought a huge thing of it. I need to get some more of that. And then I was thinking about doing like sort of a version of a cauliflower lasagna. I thought that sounded really good. Like layering the bottom with some steamed cauliflower and then a little bit of maybe hamburger over the top, some ricotta cheese, a little bit of sauce. That sounded like that might be pretty good. So I'm thinking about that. If I get like a little, sometimes I'll eat and then I'll be like on day three and I'm like, oh, you know, I just feel like vegetables or maybe I just want to switch it up a little bit. So we'll see. Maybe I'll even skip the hamburger in it. I'm just kind of talking out loud because that would be a really good veggie dish as I'm thinking that through. So lots of good things that I can make this week my refrigerator is stocked up so is my freezer and I am ready to definitely get things on track like I said I didn't go off track this week and I didn't even have a gain from that brownie which I did not think I would but I did some harm to my body that I shouldn't have done that was just stupid but I did it and we move it along and just don't do it this week so anyway I will see you in the next couple days for some cooking, some meal prepping, some recipes.